This section is about parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slopes and different y-intercepts. So what we're going to do in order to show that these two lines are parallel, we're going to show that they have the same slope and different y-intercepts. The slope of a line when it's in the form of y equals mx plus b is the m part, the part that's multiplied by x. And the y-intercept is the b part. So we're going to get each of these lines in y equals mx plus b form. That means we're going to get y by itself. So in the first line, we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. So we have negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 7. And we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. So now we have y by itself. Negative divided by negative is positive. 2 over 3x. Positive divided by negative is negative. So in equation number 1, we have the slope. That's 2 thirds. And we have the y-intercept is negative 7 thirds. Let's put the second equation in slope-intercept form. So 3y equals, we're going to add 2x to both sides. So that's 2x plus 4. We're going to divide both sides by 3. So y equals 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds. So the slopes are the same. That's 2 thirds and 2 thirds. And the y-intercepts are different. That's negative 7 thirds and 4 thirds. So the two lines are parallel. If the y-intercepts were not different, in other words, if the y-intercepts were the same, then it would be the same line instead of parallel lines. So we say slopes are equal. That's 2 thirds. They're equal to each other. They're both 2 thirds. And y-intercepts are unequal. Okay, that's negative 7 thirds and 4 thirds. Therefore, this is the symbol for therefore in logic. Therefore, lines are parallel. And this is the parallel symbol. If we are going to graph these, they should look parallel also, but we can't go by looks. But I just wanted to show you. So we start at negative 7 thirds. That's to graph the first line. Negative 7 thirds is negative 2 and 1 third. So negative 2 and 1 third is somewhere around here. And then we go up 2. So up 2 and over 3. 1, 2, 3. Somebody's having a good time in a pool somewhere nearby, screaming. Okay, so we can also go down to 1, 2, and over 3, 1, 2, 3, to give us another point on this line. So our first line looks like this. Now we're going to graph the second line. It has a y-intercept at 4 thirds, so that's 1 and a third, somewhere here. And it has a slope of 2 thirds, so we go up 2 and over 3, or we go down 2 and over 3 to the left. And we graph that line. And the lines do look parallel. That was just a visual to show us what's going on. Number 37, write an equation of the line 
that has the y-intercept of 7 that's parallel to this line with that equation. Okay, so first thing we got to do is find the slope of this line. And the slope of the line, it's already in y equals mx plus b form, so the slope is the number that's multiplied by x, so the slope is 5. Now we want another line where the y-intercept is 7. See, in this equation, the y-intercept is negative 3. So we're almost done. This is not a lot of work. It's just the new equation will be y equals 5x plus 7. There is our answer right there. To graph it, if we're going to graph the new line, it has a y-intercept of 7, that's right here, and it has a slope of 5. That means we go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. Or we go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to the left, 1. So that line looks, oh, didn't do a good job there. That line, oh. I'm just doing a horrible job drawing this line. That I do not like that. That doesn't look like a line at all. There, that's a little bit better. That The new line looks like that. The original line that they had given us had a y-intercept at negative 3 and a slope of 5. So 1, 2, th 3 four, five, up five, and over one, or down five, one, two, three, four, five, and to the left five. So, you, so the original line is the red line, and if I had done a better job, you would have seen that it's parallel to the green line. Now, question number 41, we are asked, to find R, we're given the points A, which is 5, 3. That's point A. And B, 2, 6. And C, negative 2, 0. And we want the point R, 2, R such that it's parallel to the line joining BC. So here's the line joining BC. Let's draw that. Oh, need to get better at drawing these lines on the computer. There it is. That's line BC. The line A to this point this point R comma 2R, which they didn't give it a name, let's just call it D. The point D is going to be on a line, line AD, such that it's parallel to line BC. So first thing we got to do whenever they talk about parallel lines is we got to find the slope of the line, the slope of line BC. Okay, so slope is y2, here's the equation for slope, the formula for slope, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It doesn't matter which point you pick as your first point, which point you pick as your second, as long as you're consistent. So we're going to call this one the first point, that's x1, I'm sorry, I'm picking the wrong point, um, I need to put pick B and C. So here's x1, y1. This would be x2, y2. So you start with the second point, in this case 0, the y part of it, and then minus 6 over negative 2, that's the x, in the second point, minus 2. That's negative 6 over negative 4, which is 6 fourths. 
and we reduce it, 2 goes into both, so that's 3 halves. Now we're going to find the slope of line AD. D is that new point with the R comma 2R. So the slope, that's again y2 minus y1, in this case y2 is 2R, minus y1, that's the point, this is our new point now, A and D, our new points, so minus 3 over x2, which is r, minus x1, which is 5. We're using the points a and d. Okay, so 2r minus 3, you can't simplify any of this. This is going to equal to the slope of line bc, the line connecting b and c that we found in step 1. So that's equal to 3 over 2. Now to solve this equation, to solve for r, we cross multiply. Whenever we have two fractions equaling to each other, the easiest way to solve is to cross multiply. So we get 2 times 2r minus 3, that's 4r minus 6, equals 3 times r minus 5, 5, don't forget to distribute, that's 3r minus 15. Now put all the r's on one side, that means subtract 3r from both sides, and put all the numbers on the other side. I don't know if you guys hear the birds or not, but it sounds like spring. Okay, so that's r equals negative 15 plus 6, which is negative 9. So the point would be r comma 2r, so that's negative 9 comma negative 18. Let's see if that makes sense graphically. So if we go to negative 9, negative 18, which is way down here somewhere, and we draw and we connect, oh, there I go with my horrible line, we connect those two points, it does look parallel to that line.